your names? Uh, I'm Lauren. I'm Jolene. I'm Celine. Sisters. Oh, yeah. okay, yes. Beautiful sister. I mean, you girls have the kind of act that you just don't want it to stop. You have beauty, it's strength, it's excitement, and I love you girls. And I'm so happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Jolene is only 14. It's about 3 a.m. over in Germany, and German law doesn't allow minors to stay up on TV that late. Um, I think you're incredible. True athlete, so beautiful to watch. I kept on looking over at Howie, and he's literally, like, drooling. <laughs> drooling. He's like, I'm like, I Howie. Wasn't I, 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 I wasn't drooling. I wasn't drooling. I was drooling, And I see sure. that you're from my part. Yeah. Howie, were you drooling? <laughs> no, I think they're beautiful, and I think they're wonderful. I'm going to be totally honest. It is exciting, dangerous, and this is the epitome of exciting, dangerous, exciting, dangerous, exciting, dangerous, exciting, dangerous, exciting, dangerous. Yes, most, if not all, women want to feel beautiful and sexy. And for decades, female acrobats, gymnasts, and ballerinas have worn bikini-cut leotards. But this becomes increasingly challenging as a female transitions from her 6- to 12-year-old body into her pubescent years. As a little girl, tight outfits may not seem like a big deal. Yet, as puberty begins and the first period arrives, discomfort sets in due to the perceived or imagined sexualization of the female form. Yes, the sexualization of female acrobats, gymnasts, and ballerinas has been a long-standing, deeply entrenched issue. However, leotards bear none of the blame. Normal, healthy, heterosexual masculine desires shoulder all of it. So I'm wary of any framing that places the onus of combating sexualization on female acrobats, gymnasts, and ballerinas, particularly on what they wear. I'm cautious about any message suggesting that girls and women should cover up to avoid tempting a man's wandering mind into inappropriate thoughts. A full bodysuit or unitard can't combat sexualization. Even if female acrobats, gymnasts, and ballerinas were in sackcloth and ashes or hijabs and burqas, their feminine essence and movement would still trigger normal, healthy heterosexual responses in male viewers. The issue is not modesty. The issue is biology. Yes, attractive women not covering up leaves little to the imagination. But in the same token, attractive women covering up leaves more to the imagination. It is a damned if you do, damned if you don't, lose-lose scenario for attractive women. It is the curse of beauty.
my God, that's a fun, fun family right? business. I thought it was breathtaking. It was surprising. It was everything. I think it's amazing. It was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank Are we? It didn't even seem humanly possible when I think two of you did it when you're balancing somebody on the end of your leg it looks like your knee Snapping. is bent the wrong way I was waiting for something to snap yeah. that was so <laughs> wonderful I'd go see you in Vegas I would Thank go see you, so you. And, totally. Thank you. and you Simon what do you think where is your father by the way he's backstage he's over there <laughs> uh, what's your name sir Steven Steven you may be one step closer to Vegas, all of you, after this. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think it's time. To vote? Yes. Oh, yes, absolutely. Thank you. I can't wait to see you again. It's a definite yes from me. Thank you so much. Simon? This is your third yes. Oh, wow, thank you. Four yes, I want to see you again. Thank you so much.